Okay, so I've rolled out my dough here, and it's somewhat of a rectangle shape. And now I'm going to take this and kind of figure out how many pockets I can get here. It looks like I can get one, two, three, four, and that should be good. So I'll probably trim off some of this extra dough, make it straight on both sides. Okay. Okay, so I've cut that into a, the, the, the leading edge and the sides to a square. I don't know if you can see, I've kind of marked the center there. And that's where I'm going to end up folding this over. So I'm going to put my filling right just a little past the center. Okay, so here's my filling. Again, it's just a little bit past that center line. Um, I don't know if this is too much filling or not enough. But I didn't want to run out, so I'd rather have too much filling than have some squeeze out the other side. But we shall see. Okay, upon further review, I decided to kind of spread out the filling a little bit. Instead of having a big blob right at the seam, at the fold, I pushed it forward a little bit. Uh, and that way it'll only have a little way to go. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm folding this over. Too much dough on there, maybe. Or too much flour, maybe. Alright. And <clears throat> lining up my pockets, and I'm going to put one of these rails right on the end. I did leave some space for that. Okay, here goes nothing. Lots of pressure. <laughs> Isn't he the most handsome ravioli maker yeah. you've seen? Oh, yeah, love you. Put it on there. Put it on there. Okay, look at the oh pocket. Oh my goodness, pockets are full perfectly. Oh. We have how many? Twelve. Twelve, Twelve. pockets. Pause. This is really out of focus. Anyway, I trimmed the top off there. And I got twelve beautiful raviolis. I went around and uh, pressed in some of those edges there that look like they might not have sealed real well. 